Hey guys! So coming at you with another video today. This one is the perfume review that I have mentioned uh, doing in I think another video I wanted to do, but I had a few samples coming in from a Etsy store that I ordered from and I wanted to wait until I had those uh, to do this, but all of these are from Etsy or other internet places. Most of them are from Etsy. I will leave links to the places where I got all of these uh, if you're interested, and I am not sponsored or anything by any of these, like, I shouldn't have to say that, I only have like 60 followers. Hi 60 followers! Ah, there's 60 of you! It's so many! Whoa. But yeah, uh, these are all just things that I bought for myself because I like things that smell nice, and a lot of these things um, are very kind of gothic scents um, and things like that. Um, I would say that they're probably all really good I wouldn't say dupes, but um, kind of in the same vein as what BPAL does. I have not ever had BPALs because I'm just gonna be honest, like that's so expensive. Like I just can't drop $24 on one perfume at this time. Like that's just, it's a lot, it's a lot of money. And as much as I've heard about how great they are, like I'm just, oops, I'm just kind of waiting on that. Um, so these are also some good options if you don't want to spend uh, 20 to $30 on one perfume, you can get samples, and uh, these Etsy shops are almost always cruelty-free, uh, a lot of times vegan, um, so it's really nice you get really good products and in very interesting scents. So without any further ado, I have a list here on my computer of uh, all of the things that I'm going to show you. I'll read you the descriptions and then just kind of give you my personal opinion on the perfumes and yeah. So the first shop on Etsy that I have quite a few to show you from is called Sarah Wen. So the first one I have to show you is Charlotte. Now this one was sent to me as a sample, I didn't order this one, um, but a lot of these stores will give you sample sizes uh, for free when you make an order which is really nice. So it just looks like this. This is the only one I have in one of these bottles which is sad because it's so cute. Um, and it's inspired by Pushing Daisies. The notes are tuberose, raspberry jam filling, amber, lang lang, ylang lang lang, <laughs> and um, earth. So, and I like this one. It's a very um, feminine scent. I don't get raspberry um, so much as like the florals. I definitely see like the rose and stuff. So yeah, so that's just a nice little floral scent. The next one that I have from them is the first one I ever bought from them, which is Demon's Bane. And I got the full size, so that's kind of what it looks like. And there's a little design there on that. I got this one because it's inspired by Dean Winchester and Supernatural, and I wanted to smell like Dean Winchester, so... The notes for Demon's Bane are leather, black pepper, Oud Woods, Sandalwood, and Apple Pie. There are also notes of motor oil, which sounds really weird, um, but like bear with me here. It's a very masculine scent. I like to wear unisex and masculine scents. I like musky, leathery, smoky, manly things. It's, it's so dead on to what they say it is. I ordered Silent Screen Vampire for myself, and that is this one here. That's what the packaging looks like. And um, this one is inspired by silent films, and the main notes are black pepper, musk, gardenia, chocolate, absinthe, and honey. Um, on my skin, when it kind of dries down, I just get chocolate. Like, I smell like Tootsie Rolls, like the taste of Tootsie Rolls, not the smell, but like that yummy <laughs> Tootsie Roll flavor <laughs> stays on my skin, and I just, I love the smell of this one. It's just so... It's chocolatey and it's sexy, I guess. I don't know. I love that one. The next shop that I ordered from, and these are all of my newest scents, are from a shop called Deep Midnight Perfumes on Etsy. And um, they just had a lot of really interesting kind of gothic scents that I was uh, really curious about. They have a lot inspired by fantasy, by books, by movies, again. Um, things like if, if you're like me and you're a sucker, for things that are inspired by movies and books and characters, you're gonna like this shop. And the first one that I have to talk about, and the weirdest by far, is Bats in the Belfry. 
Another thing I'm a sucker for is uh, well-described perfumes, so I really like the little stories that comes with these. Um, so for Bats in the Belfry, it's cool, damp places of the night where the rustle of wings can be heard across the breeze. This is a unique, slightly creepy, yet earthy, damp, and lovely scent comprised of main notes of galbanum, leathery pimento, oh, leathery pimento berries, old wood, and damp earth. Think of the damp, earthy smell of caverns and old, ancient wooden walls, and you will get the essence of this perfume oil. And let me tell you, they're bang on. The first time I smelled this, I was kind of disgusted. And that's mostly because, like, it smells like, like a, an abandoned building. Damp rock and wood and decay. Like, it sounds like it would be awful, but it's so lovely. Like a basement. Like, if you think of a basement with a dirt floor that's kind of wet, like that lovely earthy scent mixed with, like, rotten wood. Yeah, I, I really like this one, and it is very strong. I One thing I will say about a lot of these is that um, they're strong, which I know can be like a problem, but I like to use just a tiny bit and then just be able to like smell it, and you can smell it kind of drying down over the day and changing scents, and I really like that. So I prefer something with a little bit of strength to it so I don't have to use a lot. My foot is falling asleep. <laughs> so the next sample I have to show you is called Burnt Offering. Again, they all look like this, so I'll show you the rest of them. Um, but yeah, just another little bottle like this. And the description is, Deep in the woods you will find a secret spot where the winds cease to blow and the stillness fills the wooded glade. There an offering is poured out onto the land in the autumn air for peace, fertility, and prosperity. This is a woodsy and rich, rich unisex scent with main notes of charred woods of cedar, pine, dark honey, and beeswax. And again, I cannot, oops, and again, I cannot say enough about how accurate this is. Oh, it smells like trees. It smells like lovely, lovely pine trees. So yeah, again, just amazing accuracy and a very lovely scent. Ooh, I opened this one up and I could smell it immediately. I love that. So this one is called Ghosts in the Attic, and the description is who is that wandering around upstairs in the old house and whispering in hushed voices when no one else is home? Whose footsteps creak on the attic stairs and whose ghostly fingerprints lovingly hold folded photographs? The memories of time now past are floating upon the winds of autumn. Again, it's an autumnal scent. Are you sensing a pattern here? Um, so it's soft autumn notes of ripe red apples, autumn wind, and Halloween candies mixed with the sharp antique wood of old but not quite forgotten home. It's unisex, slightly tipping towards feminine. Again, the accuracy of these perfumes. All I smell is just beautiful apples, like just fall, gorgeous, a the, the hint of like autumn spices and that woody scent, but the main note is apple in this one and it is just delicious sweet apples. I love this one. So this next one I have to show you is called Seven Veils, and this is the one that they, they sent me for free that I didn't know I was getting. She is layered in the mysteries of the ages, ancient, inviting, divine. Come and unwrap the exquisite layers one by one as they unfold on your skin. This perfume oil is a completely intoxicating blend of earthy Madagascar vanilla and exotic resins. It is a rapturous blend of the finest sensual oils for you to delight in wearing, another personal favorite of mine as well. Um, and just the vanilla is definitely what comes through on this one. Not something I probably would have chosen for myself, it's not like my style so much, but it is a beautiful scent, and if you like vanilla and kind of, you definitely get like a little bit of musk, but just like a nice musky, sexy vanilla scent, it's absolutely lovely, and I was really happy to get that little extra gift. Alright, so the second to last one from Deep Midnight Perfumes is called Sleepy Hollow. And the description is, The orange and yellow moon is full and gleams through the trees, round as a jack-o'-lantern. You just want to get through the woods and back home for a peaceful night. The crisp and lush smells of fall leaves, acorns, pumpkins, sweet candy treats, and fragrant spices haunt your senses and relax you. Wait, was that the sound of horses' hooves you just heard? I think kind of like rotting fall leaves. 
it's a little unusual at first. It's kind of like Bats in the Belfry where it is pretty accurate, but it's not my favorite in terms of a perfume. Um, but at the same time, like, I still like it, like, for some weird reason. But I think definitely the main things that I pick up from it are that slight bit of spices and kind of decaying leaves. So another one that I probably wouldn't order again for myself, but that's why I get samples first to try them all out. And um, still really accurate and really interesting. So the last one that I have, uh, which is the free sample one that I picked out for myself with my order, is called Stormborn, and it is based on Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen. The description says, Born during the night of a raging storm, Daenerys Targaryen is often called Daenerys Stormborn. Once complacent and meek as a child, she becomes a warrior queen who is brave and strong as she grows into a woman who is not afraid to take risks in order to win what she believes is her right and heritage. She is feared and loved by those she both conquers and frees. Daenerys is known as the mother of dragons after hatching ancient dragon eggs in a fire that does not consume her. The notes are dragon's blood, oud wood, patchouli, jasmine, desert earth, cardamom, and moss. Exotic and wild, this perfume is warm and spicy and unisex. And if you like incense, this is this perfume. It smells of incense, exactly. Um, I got it because it had the main notes of dragon's blood, and um, at the moment, dragon's blood is my favorite incense to burn. And again, it's fairly potent. Very nice. I love this one. So if you're curious or if you're kind of new to perfumes or new to like different styles of perfumes where there are more kind of unique smells and you want to try some out, I highly suggest just wandering around on Etsy. I'm pretty sure you could find any scent ever <laughs> there. They have so much to choose from. There are so many different sellers of perfumes. Uh, so yeah, just like checking stuff like that out. Um, you can definitely try out Sample sizes, which is my favorite thing to do because it gives you so much more opportunity to try more of them without spending a ton of money because you can just get little, little teeny ones. So yeah, if you want to hang around for the next one, please do. Please subscribe and uh, comment. I love comments. Uh, so let me know if any of these sounded interesting to you or if you have a perfume that you think I would like or just something that you found that was really unique and interesting, let me know. I would definitely be interested in checking those out. Always like uh, new suggestions. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.